Now, there's nothing more damaging to your confidence than having a straightforward pitch shot and then shanking it just like this to where your easy up and down has now been turned into a struggle for bogey, maybe even double bogey. So I'm gonna show you in this video here exactly what you need to do to hit nice, consistent pitch shots every time. So I'm Jonathan Chan with J Chan Golf. Let's get right into it. So let's get straight into it and what we've got to do to be able to fix this shank shot with the pitching. But this will also fix a lot of you guys' thins and fats as well. So really, really beneficial. And we see it's actually quite a simple fix. It's really from the setup and it's from how you move that club off the golf ball in your first movement. So if we explain what happens to these golfers who struggle with their shot, they'll be setting up very traditionally in a very traditional type of pitching stance, which will be aiming left with your body, aiming open to the shot, and then swinging across your body because you have to swing across your body to do that now why that can be a problem because we know that can work very very well but this doesn't give you too much leeway to really have a consistent move at that pitch shot what we'll see a lot of golfers do they will have this open stance have the club you know cutting across the golf ball but that makes it very easy for the hands to disconnect away from the body now if the hands disconnect away from the body when you're pitching then they're gonna have a very hard time in the short amount of time we're doing a pitch shot to re-get close to you, re-pin to you as you're coming down in the through shot for your pitching here. So what we'll generally see, we'll see the hands go outwards and we'll see the hands stay outwards coming through the ball. And then you'll see I'm exposing the hosel because unlike a full swing, we can make various faults work through timing orientated methods out on the golf course with a full swing. But because we have less time in general that we're doing a pitch shot, we're not gonna be as successful for poor moves that happen. So if those, like we said, those hands disconnect, they're gonna stay disconnected because there's not enough time for me to re-get them going back in again. And then boom, I'm hitting that hosel shot. So just like we'll see on the slow-mo there. So what we need to do to remedy this situation here, instead of the hands going out and cutting across, we need the hands to go in and around. So you're gonna see here, if I get those hands going in and around me, it's gonna be far easier for me to control that strike location there. It's gonna be very hard then for me to be able to get those hands going back out and then hitting it, you know, slightly hill-sided. So I'm just gonna be, from my first move there, having a way better chance of hitting a good pitch shot. But you're gonna see here, it's really hard for me to do that with an open stance. Because when I've got an open stance, the only way for me to get that club going in and around, following the arc around me, and my hands being close to my body, is to physically drag them in. And you're gonna see, when I'm dragging them in, look at my right arm. See how it's getting stuck behind my body there. I don't like that at all because that's going to really create an issue to where then I have to re-extend the arm through the ball and then with a pitch shot that's going to cause you to really you know hit that shank shot a little bit. So really from there even if let's say we did somehow get those hands going in and around nicely but because of our open stance there then we're going to end up having a mini kind of over the top move with our pitch shots. See it a lot. Hands moving okay with that open stance and then swinging a little bit over and then that's creating inconsistency as well from strike. So you can see the right movement does not vibe with that type of stance. We need to make sure instead of being quite open, we need to be fairly straight onto it. You might even see some tour players now closed really quite close to their pitch shot. Now that's a whole video for another time because that's a real in-depth topic. But let's see here, if you have those feet that much more straight on here, that's gonna make it far easier for you to get those hands traveling in and around the arc. And you're gonna see now, automatically, I'm doing that via my chest rotation. Because when I rotate that chest and I leave my hands here, the hands are gonna go in and around. I can't really do that too well with an open stance because my chest is open as well. I can't really get it open it up that much to my open nature of my stance here. But when it's level and really kind of dead on with my alignment here, now it's way easier for me just to rotate my chest back and through. Because like we know we're pitching, our weight's on our front side. And then it's just a matter of rotating that chest back and through. Then the hands are gonna be moving on a nice arc. And then I'm not gonna run the risk of having that little over move either. So just rotating my chest back, rotate my chest through.
So guys, as we can see, a simple fix for a very kind of scorecard destroying problem. So all we need to do is make sure we're standing a little bit more square on, and then from there, we are much more enabled to rotate our chest back and through, controlling our hand part around our body nicely, not jotting out away from us. Really, really important there. But we know that anything golf related can sound easy in theory, but in practice, extremely difficult to do. This is no exception, but we're gonna make it a little bit easier in practice to be able to do. And all we need is a beach towel. So a big, long towel here. I've got my Florida towel here. All we need to do is kind of roll it up a little bit. And now we just need to stick it underneath our arms there. So in our armpits. So now we are restricted to what our arms can do. Our arms can't disconnect from our body. If my arms disconnect from my body here, the towel's gonna to fall down to the ground there. So this is gonna make me much more rotation and chest dominant in my rotation in my swing, with my pitch shot here. So if I'm standing very square onto it, if I'm keeping this underneath my arms here, English gonna be rotating back and forth. It's gonna keep me extremely connected here. And in my opinion, is the best drill for you to do just all around for your pitch shots. Really, really good here. So square on, just keeping this underneath my arms, rotating back, rotating through. So you can see from there, very, very passive with my hands and arms there. You could see how my hands were nicely going in and around. So that is me not exposing the hosel at all. And because of my stance being very square on, I wouldn't have that much of an over move or kind of like an over the top move for my chipping, which is very, very common for your pitch shots. So very, very passive back and through. Best drill for you to do by far. And if you do all these little bits, you're gonna be fixing that shank and those duff shots in no time. So guys, if you found the video helpful, make sure you hit that like button. If you want more golf instruction just like this, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So if you want to improve your pitch shots, do these few little things here and your life will be way easier when you're around the greens.